Hey everybody, I'm coming live to you. I'm going to show you guys um, some nail wraps and how to put them on. I've already started, so I've got one nail left on both fingers. Um, so I'll show you guys um, how I put the nail wraps on, some tips and tricks, and hopefully you guys can learn something. Um, I will try to answer any questions you guys have. Um, put them in the comments as I'm talking. Um, I won't necessarily be able to see them while I'm doing the application, but I will answer them when I am done. Um, I apologize in advance. I do have um, two little ones running around. Um, one is planning a teddy bear birthday party, and the other one is playing princess. So in advance, in case they interrupt, I apologize. <laughs> so uh, hopefully you guys uh, enjoy what you see today, and let me know if you have any questions. So let me go ahead and turn around the camera and get this all set up. So bear with me for the, the wobbly camera here. I think you guys can see okay all right so I'll try to do this um, slowly and talk through it so first off I'm going to turn on my mini heater over here um, it is I've been using it a little bit already to do my nails it's not hot to the touch or anything like that it's actually covered in a little bit of felt right here on the front um, I've actually had my little girls come up and touch it when I'm doing my nails so it is definitely safe um, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on using this power button here it starts to come on. Um, you probably won't be able to hear it. It's not very loud at all. I do have a fan running in the background, so if anything, you probably hear the fan and the traffic going by since I have my window open. Mama, so. Why are you talking to? I'm talking to people on, on Facebook. Oh, please, sweetie. Um, so, like I said, um, I've already done most of my nails. I've been using uh, Latte Love. Let's see if I can get it to focus here. Maybe. Maybe not. Um... So Latte Love is already on my nails, on my thumb, if I can get it to focus, maybe this one will be a little better, there we go, that's a little better. Um, so I'm going to be doing this nail here, and this nail here, I'll do both of them to guys show you guys a couple examples of it as I'm doing it. Um, so I've already put on Latte Love, and now I'm going to put on, it's called Pewter. Um, I almost always do two different wraps. Um, I like the mixed manicures uh, look. So um, I'm going to do pewter. Um, so before I do anything, um, I've already taken the time to clean up my nail. So I've taken um, uh, my deluxe toolkit here. I've used my cuticle spoon um, to push my cuticles back. Um, I've also used my cuticle remover um, to get any hard to see cuticle um, off of it. And so my nail is pretty well cleaned up. Um, one of the big important things you want to do um, when you're doing your nails though, your hands are very oily and you need to make sure that that oil is removed from your nails because how the nail wrap sticks to it is it sticks to your nail and if there's oil on them it will actually make it very hard for the nail wrap to adhere. So I'm going to go ahead and use our um, nail prep cleanser. Um, you can also use rubbing alcohol. Um, so I have these cheap little uh, cotton rounds uh, from Meyer that I use. So I'm just going to put a little bit on here. And you can definitely use this throughout your manicure too. I'm really bad at like clenching my hands as I'm doing um, nails. So you can. It's 10 shh, Yes, Emma. So you can um, do this throughout your manicure um, and just take a little bit of it and clean off that nail. Make sure you get it nice and clean. You don't want any oil on there. Um, kind of one of the other things I do since my hands are usually pretty oily is I will actually do it to the underside of my fingers and kind of get some of that oil off of there. That way as I'm doing my nail, I don't get it built up on my fingers as well. So I'm going to do it on both nails here, clean it up, skin it, and get my hand nice and clean so I don't have to worry about extra oils. So now that I've done that, clean up the extra cotton fuzz for my cheap little cotton rounds here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start my nail wrap application. So the first important part is choosing the right size. So what you actually want to do is you want to take the sheet of nail wraps and you want to curl it around your finger. And what you want to do here, I'll, I'll use a, a really small one for an example. So you want to curl it around your finger to actually see what the fit is. So as you can see, if you look at the side here, you can see nail on both sides. Obviously this is the tiniest nail wrap, so it's going to be too small for my finger. What you want to do is you want to see just a little bit of fingernail on each side of the nail wrap. So as you curl it around, you look on both sides and make sure it's the right fit. If you don't see any nail on either side, that's actually going to be too big. Um, 
a lot of people are really afraid of having space around their fingernails. So look at my pinky, for example. Um, if I can get it to focus here. My pinky, for example, looks great right now. Um, there's no issues. You don't see nail around it. But if you look at the sides of it, get it to focus again. If you look at the sides of it, I actually don't have the nail wrap going all the way to the edge of my nail. And that is on purpose. The reason I do that is because if the nail wrap touches your skin, again, that oil in your skin is going to make the nail wrap not adhere as well. And that will make it lift up. So that's very important when you're choosing your nail wrap is choosing the appropriate size. If it's too big, it's going to fall off a lot faster and you're going to have more issues with it. Um, I've also noticed if it's close to too big or probably too big, you'll get a lot more uh, buckling and curling of your nail wraps. So go slightly smaller than your fingernail size. So, all right, so I already know what fingernail size I need. I need this one here for this finger. Um, so I'm going to take my orange stick. Again, remember, you don't want to touch the adhesive. So all that oil on your skin is going to make the adhesive not work as well. So I use an orange stick. Um, you can also use uh, nail scissors or um, other products. But you do not want to touch the sticky part of the, of the nail wrap. So I take my orange stick. If I can get it to focus. Sorry, I'm trying to make this work here, guys. Um, and I will actually pry it up um, off from the edge with my orange stick. Again, do not touch the adhesive. I'm trying to do this while you guys can see too. So bear with me. It's not usually this hard for me. All right, so pry up the, the nail wrap. And then what I do is I will actually fold it back. Again, don't touch the nail wrap um, with your fingers, the adhesive part. I'll fold it back in half and then I will take my um, nail scissors. I can get the, you guys to see this okay. And I will actually just cut it right in half. All right, so you guys see it here? Cut in half, great. All right, so now what I want to do is I want to take and put this in the heat. Um, try to get my mini heater here so you guys can see this because this is important too. You want to have it in the heat long enough where you actually see the nail wrap start to curl. So like I said, I will do this on both fingers to try to make you guys um, help you see it. So here's my nail wrap. I'm going to stick it in the heat, and you'll watch it, and all of a sudden it'll kind of curl up. I can get it to go. Oh, sure, it's curling in the wrong direction here. All right, I'll hopefully show it to you guys on the other one. But you'll see it curl up, and that's when you know that the adhesive on the wrap has been activated. You can kind of see the curl right there. Um, and then you want to place it on your finger. So again, trying to do this so you guys can see, so bear with me. So I usually place it towards the bottom of my fingernail first, and then I will push down as I'm removing the orange stick, okay? Now I try to do this as quickly and as little effort as possible. I have two little ones running around. I want to get this done. I don't want to spend a lot of time on it. So I usually will heat it up before and I will heat it up a second time. So after I've got it on my nail placed where I want it, I will actually push straight down the middle. I will push to the side, get that side, and then I will push it to the other side. Okay, so you kind of see how it's fitting on my nail there. All right, so again, see there's a little bit of gap on this side. A little bit of gap on this side. It doesn't have to fit perfect, um, but you guys will see that it'll still look good when I get done. So I'm going to put it in the heat one more time, and I'm just going to hold my finger in front of it for a minute. Um, just a few seconds is fine. If it gets too hot, obviously don't hold it there forever. Um, I have a cuticle pusher. Um, you can also use your fingernail, or your finger, excuse me, um, not your fingernail, your finger, um, just to kind of help push it down and make sure it's really solidly adhered to your finger. So I'm going to take it and I'm just going to rub it down with this. And I'm going to get, get right up here by my cuticle, make sure it's pushed down really good there. And then I'm intentionally going to push it and rub it off of the edge. Okay, and the reason you're doing this is because you want to make a good seal all around. Okay, so now that you've got that good seal, what I do is I take my nail file, and a lot of people are used to filing their nails back and forth, um, left and right, etc. You only want to file in one direction, and that is down away from the nail wrap. Okay, and the reason for that is if you go up and down, you're going to get the buildup from your fingernail 
built under the nail wrap and that's going to cause issues with it. So you only want to go in one direction, all right? Now as you're doing this, you're actually going to see the nail wrap separate from the nail itself. You do not want to pull the nail wrap away. You just want to file it down. Um, some people recommend trimming the extra nail wrap uh, with scissors first. Again, I like to do as few steps as possible. I got stuff to do, um, so I don't do that. So you actually see it starting to come apart. If you see, I'm very slightly just pulling it. Hopefully you guys can see this here. Um, very, it's still stuck on that one edge. I don't want to pull it off because if I do that, it could actually pull the nail wrap a little bit too, and it could cause, again, some lift and some... Um, possible damage underneath to the nail wrap. So I'm actually going to keep filing just in that specific spot until it comes off. And then you see it came off. My nail's all done. Okay. Couple of tips for filing. When you're filing, um, there's two recommended methods. Some people say to go at a 90 degree angle. You can see again, get focus. Some people say to go at a 90 degree angle. If you don't use your fingers a lot, um, that's probably perfectly fine. I actually recommend going at about a 45 degree angle, a slight angle. Um, what that will do, and some people don't like this, so this is personal preference, it, you will see a tiny bit of your nail at the top above your nail wrap. I personally don't notice it unless I'm getting really close and looking at it. Um, but what this does is it makes it so that nail edge isn't right on the end. So if you use your fingernails a lot, like I type a lot all day, um, I'll get that nail wrap to lift up from my fingernail a little bit. So I actually like to file it a little bit on an angle just to get that edge um, not right at the end here. So, all right, so that's one nail. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the other one and I'll go a little faster this time. Um, less talking so you guys can kind of see what I'm doing, um, but hopefully you guys will get, get the idea. All right, so again, I've already got my nail wrap cut. So I'm gonna pick it up with my orange stick. Again, I'm not gonna touch the underside of it because I do not want to get my oils on the adhesive. All right, I'm gonna pull it up. So there's my nail wrap. If I can put it in the camera here, that'll be better. I'm gonna put it in the heater. Let's see if I can get it to show this time. I'm gonna put it in the heater. So you guys will see it curl once it's ready to go. See it curl up there? There, it's curled up. It's all heated up. So now I'm gonna take this one, and you guys get to see me backwards because I'm actually left-handed. Um, and I'm gonna put this on this hand. If I can do this without getting it um, too bad in the camera here. You guys see what I'm doing? All right, so I'm going to place it on there. And I'm really bad at this hand because I'm, like I said, left-handed. So hopefully not as wobbly here. So you guys see it's on my finger. Again, I'm going to push up straight up the middle. I'm going to push to one side. And then I'm going to push to the other side. Very straightforward. Okay. I'm going to put it in the heat again. I'm just going to hold it there for a couple seconds. All right. And now I'm going to take my orange stick, or excuse me, not my orange stick, my Kyoto Pill Pusher, and just rub it down really good. I'm going to make sure I push into, um, down into the cuticle area to make sure I've got a good seal there, and I'm going to do it on the edges too. So try not to get my arm in the camera here, you guys. I don't know how good of a, a job I'm doing in the camera. I'm not used to going live that often. So, And again, I'm going to make sure I get it really good on the tips just to make sure I've got that good seal all around. All right. Again, if you guys don't have one of these, um, your finger is fine. Just use your finger and rub it down really good. Make sure you push it in the corners really good. Um, all of that works too. So, all right. So again, I'm gonna take my file. I'm going to file straight down. Actually, I'll do mine on an angle, like I said. Um, and I'm only gonna file it one direction. I'm not gonna go up and down. And you guys, if I get it this close enough, you can see kind of that the, the nail wrap is breaking as I'm filing it. Again, don't you don't want to, you know, pull on it or that kind of stuff either. You want to let the nail file do the job. So I'm getting it there. Oh, I've got crying children in the background, so hopefully they don't come in here. <laughs> hopefully they can figure it out themselves. All right, so I'm almost done here. Again, I'm gonna make sure I don't pull on the edges. I'm gonna let the nail file to do the job and it's gonna separate itself. So it's actually underneath my nail right now. So um, there we go. All right. Oh no, all right. Well, I will help you in just a second, okay, Cassidy? All right, so there are my fingernails. 
All right. So bear with me just a second. I'm going to turn the camera back around so I can see you guys and talk through your comments here. Maybe. All right. There we go. Hi, everybody. Hi, Heather. I see that you're watching. Um, so hopefully um, this gave you guys some tips here. Um, I'm not sure who else is watching here. I can't see the other person. So if you're if you're watching, go ahead and say hi. Um, I want to want to recognize you. Um, hopefully, like I said, you guys learned a little bit. Um, like I said, it's it can be really easy. You don't have to put a lot of work into it. Um, the first few times I did my nails, it took me I don't know, probably an hour because I was extra paranoid. Um, I wasn't sizing down properly, so I had to take extra time to really push my nail wrap down to make sure it didn't bubble and that kind of stuff. Hi, Meredith. <laughs> um, but. Honestly, now I can get my nails done in 15, 20 minutes, um, and that's with children running around and bothering me. <laughs> so it's definitely um, a lot easier um, once you've done it a few times and you get used to it. So again, here's my nails. See the sparkly one? I love my sparkles. And my coffee, my thumb. Um, one of the things I didn't mention, so my thumb, if I can get it in the camera here to focus, my thumb, because it's flat on the bottom, I actually take my nail scissors and I trim the bottom edge of it. So I take, if I can show, I take and actually trim the little bit of the bottom so it's flatter. Um, and you can do that with any of your nails. If your nails are oddly shaped or they're not um, shaped the same as the nail wraps themselves, trim them down, make them fit better, um, and that's perfectly fine. Again, just be careful when you're doing it that you don't accidentally touch the adhesive. Because if you touch that adhesive, it's going to make them bubble up and come off sooner. So, um, hope you guys learned a bunch. Um, if you guys have any questions, feel free to post them in the comments. I will answer them after the fact. Um, but thanks for watching. Bye, guys.